Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 19 of Darwell20's Stone Block series. Today I'm working on more tin, so I need clay and bone white chickens. And I just want to put out there, holy cow, uh, chickens are really slow, even with an acceleration wand. Look how long it's taking for these two chickens to breed. Now I want you to realize that to get clay, it took me about 16 tries. Look how many sand and snowball chickens we have. Like getting snowball was quick, it's just log and lapis. And there's the lapis, that was easy, it was just, it, it comes uh, straight out of uh, these guys. Right? So that one was easy. Log chickens was easy. It's just, you know, wood around an egg. I was just kind of like messing around. Like what would be involved um, to get myself tin? Because I was I was working on some of the, the prerequisites for what I was going to record today, which is, which is generating power from all that refined fuel that I got. Um, and basically I ran out of tin. So I'm like, hey, let's just get a tin chicken. That shouldn't be too bad. I only need like two or three generations of breeding uh, to get there. Uh, was I wrong? I mean, it was bad. It took me a really long time to get this clay chicken, and then I finally started recording as soon as I got it, because I've been probably sitting here for like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes with the acceleration wand. Like, look how long this is taking. It takes a really long time. So the acceleration wand, absolutely, super duper extra helpful when it comes to chickens. And we are on fastest mode, right? Yeah, we were on fastest mode this whole time. So definitely crazy. Um, Let's see if we got lucky and happened to get a tin chicken right off the bat. We got a bone white chicken. Well, that's unfortunate. But what are you going to do? So um, today's episode is not going to be me just acceleration wanding the chicken breeder all day long. Because that would be really boring. Um, I wonder if it's faster to put that. Like, that doesn't make a difference, right? Maybe if both of them are there, right? Because we only have one clay chicken for now. Um, maybe we'll get another one in a minute. If I get lucky and get a tin chicken, cool. Um, if not, then, you know, it is what it is. It's really what it comes down to. Uh, I'll just have to do more off-camera work. And then once you get the appropriate breed, getting that breed up to 10-10-10 is not so bad, especially with the acceleration wand. The acceleration wand makes that um, a reasonable process. Um, so... Hey, a tin chicken. Yay, tin chicken. Um, now, can I combine you with what? Uh, you can get bronze and, ooh, lumium, huh? If I combine you with glowstone. That's kind of cool. Um, now, the problem here is that to get this, I basically need two of these if I want to start going 10, 10, 10, right? Um, so I don't think I can just take a smart chicken... And like, is there a sneaky fast way to get like a second tin? Oh, no seeds. Okay, well, uh, yeah, there's your problem. Um, see, there's where I got my log chicken from. How about wheat? I think I can do this, right? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Uh, seeds. Uh, okay, that works. I knew there would be a way to turn those into what I need. So, again super slow but the goal here would be to get another tin chicken hopefully i don't get another smart one i don't know how this works I'm trying to think if there's like a sneaky way to basically make another one of these but I, I basically need two tin chickens in order to start breeding them up right i would think i don't know if this will come together so like these chickens have attributes where like the previous no i don't i think it has to be two of the same chicken to increase the attributes so that's definitely the case yeah. All right. So we're going to do one iteration of this if I happen to get a tin chicken cool. If not, also cool. Um, either way, I'll come back with uh, a bunch of 10, 10, 10 chickens, and then we can start making tin. Because uh, that's what I need right now is tin. And I'll probably need another drawer as well. But let's see what we get. Uh, crossing our fingers for tin. Hooray, we did get tin. Lucky us. All right, cool. So you can go back in there. And then I will be back in a minute once I breed these up to 10, 10, 10s. Okay. And only for the record, um, I will state that, and this is really slow, uh, had I gone tin mystical agriculture, we probably would have had far more tin than needed at this point. We would have been really good on tin. Um, but then, of course, so like short term, 
it's quicker to get to tin. But long term, we'll produce way more tin with these chickens than we would with misquails. I don't know. It's really a tough call, like which direction to go in. That's why I'm kind of happy I'm going both directions. Uh, the tin, I'm, I'm doing chickens and misquail agriculture. Because like, this is probably an example of one further down the line would have been even more painful. Like diamonds, that would have taken forever to get to. Um, so, see like once you get to this point, it's definitely like less painful. See how much easier that is? And then I'm gonna breed them up, so we'll be back. So I'm not sure which of these numbers, it's growth, gain, and strength. Uh, I don't know which of these affects breeding speed, but definitely when you get to this point, it is way less painful, right? So now we're at nine, 10, eight, and seven, nine, seven. If we're lucky, we'll get a 10, 10, 10 from this. Um, but chances are we probably won't. You never know though. Could get lucky, we'll find out. Uh, so there we go, 10, 10, eight. So we'll just keep plugging along, right? So that should be cool. All right, so once I hit 10, 10, 10, I'll breed a bunch, get some tin going on. Um, maybe you want to get to the point, see we're super close now, this next chicken will have to be 10, 10, 10, I think, I think. Yeah, he is, that's what's up, booyah. All right, so now we breed the last of these 10, 10, 10s and we should be cool. All right, so I'll be back in a few minutes here. I'm going to collect a little bit of tin, and then we're going to start today's episode for reels, in which, see how much faster it is? Yeah, way better, right? In which we will be producing power from the refined fuel we got last episode, and uh, we'll see where else we get to. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Uh, we're going to do this with a sink down here. We're going to have a servo. Good to go. Boom. Uh, you guys are going to be ready to produce some power. We're making this a nice and compact build. Boom, boom, and boom. Sweet. Look at you producing RF. Nice. So right now, um, you guys are what? You need to be augmented, right? So let's get our kits. Right? So that's cool, right? So you're making your refined fuel. You're, you need to empty out your junk. So item ducks, right? So you're going to be, everybody's exporting over to here now. So that's cool, right? So coal goes in here, right? Of which we have some, could probably use a little bit more. Chickens coming soon. Uh, we've got tar and sulfur being made, which is nice. I mean, sulfur is useful for things. Plenty of times we have to go looking for sulfur. Right, um, and then you guys are producing your power. Nice, so I wanna make those augments. See right now your max power is, is ADR for tick. Uh, let's get those augments going, which is the ignition plug. So we need Signalum for that, which isn't the end of the world, but now's a good opportunity um, to teach this thing. So if I want another magma crucible, did I get one of those extra? Oh, that's right, I made it for down there. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Uh, brick, 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 brick. I thought I had extra another brick. Did I not have extra another brick? No, I have extra another rack, yes. Cool, let's cook you up real quick, buddy. And you'll get imported into the system nice and lickety split. Uh, let's get another crucible and let's get ready. Uh, so if I wanna make Signalum, right, uh, which we totally need to make, um, oh, there's a Signalum seed. That's cool. That's kind of cool. How much do we get? Four per craft? Uh, I mean, like, kind of thinking, like, why automate it when I can get a seed, right? Signalum seed is what, tier four? That doesn't seem too terrible, right? Um, let's get, like, a stack or two of you. Actually, I'm gonna get a few stacks because I have so much of this Imperium Essence. Um, because then we can just like manually craft one Signalum and we'll be cool. So then you get upgraded to this guy. So to make these, let's get like a stack of that. And then you are there. So you can just come out of some of this stuff, right? Sweet. Then we just need a couple Signalum. So that is a bucket, 10 redstone. And you, sir, can be fluid transposed and you can be magma crucibled. Nice. 
And I'm pretty sure you'll output to the bottom, right? You do now. <laughs> yes, good. Okay, so then I can get Signalum Blend, which just needs uh, three copper and a silver. And my redstone bucket. Pulverizer. And you might have noticed that I upgraded my energy cell between episodes. So right now the power that we're generating downstairs from that fuel isn't being pumped into this thing, but that's something we're going to remedy in a minute. Cool. Well, I guess I might as well just let those items show up over here. So there's my silver. Copper should be showing up any minute. One, two, three. Boom. And then sand. Um, oh, you're doing that thing. Okay, cool. I had a little bit of stuff going on. Because I need two of them right away. Signalum seeds, good to go. Beautiful. That's what's up. Now you should have more fluxed Phyto Grow. You, I'm gonna take you out. We ran out of Phyto Grow over here, right? Um, and what we're gonna do is throw you in with the fluxed Phyto Grow. Give this guy a little bit of a wanding. And that ain't so bad. Part of me wants to like amp you up. Well, you're already max tiered, so yeah, there is no amping up of you. What I could do is throw more power at you though. What's your power situation like? I mean, you have signal and plate it in there. I'm gonna hold off. I'll just, it's fine. It's only when I'm speed upgrading it that we run into issues. Maybe one more growth iteration. So that should be enough for a bit of signal. Cool. All right, so now I can make my augment for my flux plugs. We just need a couple signal gears. Um, and some copper plates. We need a little bit more electrum. What do you think? We need four copper plates in the compressor. One of these guys is a compressor. There he is. Because I'm impatient. Okay, electrum, cool. Now these flux plugs should give me way better um, fuel. Nice. All right. So I need uh, I need three of these in, in total actually. So are you done with another iteration at least close? Yep. Okay. So I need a couple more copper. Yeah, I miscounted. Bad guy, wolf. What are you gonna do? Okay, you, you, you. Do, 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 and nice. So these augments can then go into these machines and bing, bing, bing. Now you're all producing 320 RF a tick each um, for a really good amount of refined fuel to be fair. Um, and you guys could maybe be speed upgraded a little bit. Um, so what we could make is a couple augments. This is going to use a little bit of gold, but it's okay. That should be fine, right? Nice. All right. So let's let this internal buffer fill up for a minute, and we'll be right back. So there's one other thing we want to do here, guys, and that is one of these prevents RF loss due to flux coil saturation. So that's an easy one. It's just a little bit of lead around some electrum. So let's get like that. So that one should be easy, it looks like. 
So it's a good thing we uh, upgraded these to the level we did. Right, so now it's zero RF and it's not using fuel, right? Um, good thing we tested this because I forgot about that augment and I am pleased to report that it is now in place because I completely forgot that was a thing. So where is where we want to be? So you are where we want to be. I made some hardened redstone flux conduit stuff because uh, that can transfer 4,000 RF a tick. Just wanted to have like the next tier up and running. It was just a little bit of invar, which is, you know, easy enough. So now we can do this and you guys might drain out your power pretty quickly. Uh, and you might fill up this guy. So that's gonna be a decent bit of power for us, I would say, right? Like, I feel like that's gonna be a good power production line. Um, the, the, the refined fuel is gonna produce a hefty amount of power from us. We're gonna actually get a decent amount of refined fuel and all this stuff is gonna be pretty nice. We just need more coal, right? So to make that happen, can we just get coal chickens? Like, what would be involved in getting coal chickens? Um, speaking of chickens, because that's what we did today, uh, we need flint chickens and log chickens. So we already have log, and flint is just, well, flint. So that's cool. Um, hey, you, aren't you making gravel? Did I tell you to make gravel? I thought I told you to make gravel, 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 gravel. Yes, we do have gravel. So I need eight around an egg, right, flint chicken, uh, that I can then... We might even already have flint chicken over there, I forget, but it was easy enough to make one, so I'm not gonna lose my my mind over it. Uh, actually, that's pretty cool now, because we have two flint and two log. I think that will breed them faster when you have two of each. Like, I think the more you have in there, the faster they breed. Like, that's not terrible, right? So if I got a coal chicken from this, and then we bred that up to 10, 10, 10, that would pretty much be unlimited coal, and that would be a good amount of stuff, right? So let's come back in a minute once I've got a 10, 10, 10 coal chicken, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So uh, we've got our chicken breeder. Uh, we've got two 10, 10, 10 chickens in there, which is cool. So, like, see how fast it's going right now? This is, like, validation of the way this thing works, right? I do that. Look how much faster it is. Cool. And then I do that. See? See how that works? <laughs> That's kind of cool. I, I guess. Okay, no, you're cool. You're good still. That is a really fast breeding operation we got going on right there. So I'm going to keep three of these up here. But let's get ourselves another roost. Which I may or may not be able to craft if I have enough of this stuff. Uh, I'm close. Close to enough. Uh, but we can get some bones to make some bone meal and i know sag milling would be faster but it doesn't matter you know why because it doesn't matter that's why because i've got a bajillion bones so here's what i'm thinking all right burn up all my bone meal this stuff all comes with me okay we get You guys, and we can get a roost. And we're going to want a Yetta wrench. We put our chickens in there. You are gonna be extract, you are gonna be insert, not extract, and then boom, coal. Haha, -ha. how nice is that? Right? So now you're making coal, presumably faster than you're using coal. Uh, we're gonna to have to validate this a little bit um, by coming back here in about five or 10 minutes, but in theory, that's the case, right? Also, you seem to be building up an internal buffer of power, which means this guy should be full. He is. Right, so that means that we now have pretty much, um, and I was gonna um, have my cabling out here, but I changed my mind. 
So we can get rid of all this. So now we have a pretty much unlimited, if you will, amount of power at a rate of about a thousand RF a tick, right? Just under a thousand RF a tick. But like our magma's still doing, you know, whatever it's doing. I forget how much you produce, but um, I call that good. I call that really good, right? A thousand RF a tick for basically ever. Like this is never gonna run out. Um, it'll build up its internal buffer for sure right now. Uh, it definitely looks like it's producing more coal than it's using at the moment. Um, and you're you're all doing a great job. The only thing that could possibly happen is this thing filling up, which legitimately could happen. That is a fair that is a fair and accurate thing that could happen, right? But for now, I think we're cool, right? So I'll keep an eye on this thing a little bit, but basically he's not wasting fuel and we're producing tons of it. So that's awesome. So RF problems, I would say, are probably pretty much done for, for the time being, right? Are we never gonna run into any RF problems? Well, that's, in the, that's a silly statement. We will, of course, run into RF problems at some point, um, but not just yet. So let's put all this away. My sig signalum seeds can go away. And I'm not gonna actually do much by way of uh, stuff right now. I think I'm just gonna clean up my inventory because we have a lot of junk in here, to be fair. Um, wow, we have a lot of junk in here. So if I turned you on to, hey you, wireless charging enabled? Hey, look at that, sweet. You're wirelessly charging, ha! <laughs> And that's using from this, which of course is gonna turn my fuel generator, but that's okay. Like, that's the whole point. That's the reason we have all this stuff. Um, so you can go away, guys, and you can go away, and you can go away, and you can go away. And the Woot Guide, I kinda left that there, but I don't think we're gonna be getting into Woot just yet, because I remember it being quite the power hog. And while we have a thousand RF a tick for basically nothing, we don't have like, you know, a hundred thousand RF a tick. Not yet. I have ideas though. I have plans, and I have ideas. Okay, that's all I can say at this point. That's all I can say at this juncture. You know what else I really need to do? Is clean that out more automatically. There's some like little automation tasks that I've been dragging my feet on doing. That's one of them. I need an import bus on that dude. Um, we'll get there. Uh, I did, and this was like a million, like this was I think before last episode. I had prepared myself. Um, to do this. So you should be at 16 now, good. Cool. And you should be at 16 now, cool. And You should be at 16 now? Good. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. And we do have a 7% efficiency loss, but I'm kind of okay with that. And you're at eight. And you're at 16 now. So you guys, that gives me tons of that stuff. The reason I wanted to get more of this is mostly just for, it's a good reason to have lots of extra utilities power. Nothing wrong with that. But also, uh, I was basically considering going to the end and killing the end dragon and having flight would be nice for that, but we'll see. So right now, lots of power, check. Um, what should we look at doing next? Uh, that is a good question. All right, I was originally a little bit hesitant to do this and yeah, let's totally turn that off. Um, I need to find a quartz chicken, and apparently you find them here in the nether. So let's go on a little nether adventure where I have almost no armor on me, and among a million other reasons that I probably shouldn't be here. Uh, but let's see if we can, like, maybe get lucky. And I do, in fairness, have this. Oh, I don't want to put the bag inside the bag. I forgot that you could do that with those, and it's probably not something we want to do. But what I want to do is find another chicken, if I may. Oh, 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 are you them? You would appear to be them. Wow, that was... Come here, baby chicken. I do not want to hurt any of you. This will actually make my... my plans for world domination 
a little bit easier. So that was uh, easy, as they say. Uh, Nether Imperium War, right. Uh, Nether Prosperity Shard War, well that's cool. Prosperity Shards are nice. Is there anything else in particular that I need here while I'm in the Nether? I mean, I'm in the Nether. A few Prosperity Shards wouldn't hurt. But I don't think there's too much that I definitely need. A little Nether Quartz might not be a terrible idea. What else we got going on in this general area? So I was kind of poking around, whoosh, at what's involved in getting to the point where we can start playing with Project E, right? So Project E, um, to get the Philosopher's Stone isn't terrible. Some diamonds, some emeralds, some glowstone, an Enderstar, uh, which is just things I already have and can easily get, plus some Dragon's Breath, which... Again, remember my little going to the end thing that we were looking at? But then I was like, all right, cool. A Philosopher's Stone is nice to have. Don't get me wrong. I like the Philosopher's Stone. It's a lovely little gadget. Uh, it's super nice. It gives us access to a bunch of cool crafting recipes that we wouldn't otherwise have access to among about 7,000 of the recipes because it's listed as a crafting table. Um, but you can totally use it for all kinds of good stuff, right? Then I'm like, well, I want a transmutation table, right? Because that'll be nice to have so that I can, like, you know, convert items into EMC and EMC into items. And that would be super cool, right? Right? So what's involved in making the transmutation? Oh, my goodness. Look at all that rest of it. So I started digging deeper into, like, the shenanigans that is this, this whole... This whole Project D. So Project D is 100% your endgame mod, right? Like, that's where I think we should be heading. Um, so an energy condenser, uh, we need four of these, which is, um, we'll see in a minute how ridiculous those are to get. Um, but we need night slime ingots, which we can get from, from chickens. So there are night slime chickens. Uh, and we don't need um, night slime. We just need pig iron and manulin, um, ardite and iron and flint. and Okay, so yeah. You get the idea, right? So that, we need Night Slime. Um, so is there another, like, sneaky, cool way to get Night Slime ingots? So there is Night Slime. I don't think we have any. Can we get them from, like, loot bags by chance? That would be, like, super cool. Um, you can cast it, um, which, you know, is Molten Iron, Liquid Purple Slime, and Seared Stone. Um, and that can be smelted from a Purple Slime Ball, which you can get from loot bags, to be fair. Um, they are bad luck, apparently, but, you know, and there's chickens that can make them as well. So there's, a uh, there's stuff there, right? Um, that looks shenanigans, though, to be fair. Do we have any more chickens? We just have, like, a regular chicken, so I don't think we need him. So that's, you know, what we need to get that. Um, and then Project E. Uh, in addition to that, though, we need Neutronium Nuggets. We need Dark Matter. Um, from Project E. We need HDPE sheets from Mechanism. So we have to get into Mechanism for sure. We have to get into making Night Slime for sure. Pixie Dust from Batania. So we definitely need to get some Batania stuff going on. Evil Infused Ingots, which I'm pretty sure is like dropping gold in lava or something like that. Um, is the basic... Oh, no. I was thinking of something else. It's Iron plus another star. Not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world, though. Um, more Ender Stars, which we saw how to make. Energy Collectors, which just needs a piece of red matter, so it's not that bad. Uh, red matter can be crafted with, with items that are made with the Philosopher's Stone. Um, and then the real tricky ones is going to be probably the Energy Condensers, because we need four of these. So we're going to need a hefty amount of red matter. Um, but like I guess the hardest part of getting red matter is getting the Eternalist Fuel, right? Because, like, dark matter is just diamonds around it and, and eternalist fuel. And red matter is just eternalist fuel with a bunch of dark matter. So red matter isn't too bad when you think about it. Um, and to get this stuff, um, we realistically just need a whole bunch of coal. So technically, not that bad of a recipe. Um, we need the alchemical chest as well, which, again, not too bad of a recipe. Though we do need, uh, okay, we need covalent and stuff. comes from an empower. Okay, today we learned that. I had no idea. Base essence ingot. That's easily craftable. Um, and then this guy. An infused diamond. Oh, that might be trickier than it looks. Dimensional shards. Oh, we can craft them. 
So not so bad. So not so bad. So we don't have to go dimension hopping. We can craft them. Or we can get them from loot bags. All right. So that ain't terrible. Um, and then diamond lattices just need a lot of diamonds. So the biggest trick with this will be the neutronium collectors, from what I understand. So we need an extreme crafting table. And we're going to need a lot of redstone. And we're going to need some crystal matrix ingots and some blocks of iron and some blocks of quartz. Um, and the crystal matrix ingots are crafted with a couple of nether stars and some diamond lattices, which is a bunch of diamonds. So with all that said, um, and they, the neutron collectors apparently create piles of neutrons, which you take nine of them to make a nugget. And then you take nine nuggets to make an ingot. Um, and then the ingot can be used for all kinds of extreme crafting recipes, including uh, the transmutation table. So we need a bunch of nuggets. So that doesn't look too bad, right? But I, from what I understand, it's just a long amount of time to make it. I think it just sits there and it produces neutrons for nothing. So I think we should get into this sooner than later. So what do we got? So it looks to me like a big name of this game that we're about to get into is going to be lots and lots of resource production. Um, we're gonna wanna have a lot of things being made all at once. So power generation, I'm gonna call us good on for a little bit. And mystical agriculture, we're also good with. Storage and auto crafting, we're cool. Draconic and Project E, that's where we wanna jump into. And obviously, we have lots more other mods that we can just play with. But we're gonna need to get into all these different mods in order to get to the end game, which is Project E. So what's cool is what I initially thought was like, I don't have much of a direction in this pack. I just realized there is a direction and I just found it, right? So if we want to get an extreme crafting table, we're going to need some crystal matrix ingots and a double compressed crafting table, which is a lot of crafting tables. That's not too bad. But this guy, we're going to need, um, you know, quite a few nether stars and quite a few diamond lattices. So I think what I'm going to do is get my acceleration wand because I think chickens is going to have to be the name of the game for a few resources for sure. Like these guys have been doing okay, but they haven't been doing what I would call great, right? Um, like mystical agriculture, good, could be better-ish. I mean, this thing, you know, if I got a whole bunch of diamond seeds in this room, like this many diamond seeds, that would be cool. If I went with the immersive engineering grower, that would also be cool. But chickens just make such a stupid amount of resources. Uh, once you get them to 10, 10, 10 level and you get 16 into a thing, like look how much tin we got. I'm sure we filled up this drawer. Oh, I mean still 11 stacks in what's effectively been maybe half an hour. So I mean like we're pretty good there, dudes. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna get to breeding more chickens. Uh, so definitely want diamond chickens. So what's involved with that? So to get a diamond chicken, uh, we need glass, which comes from a nether quartz and redstone. So that's funny. Glass chickens. You need nether quartz and redstone to get glass. All right, sand and red chicken. Um, so I think we've got some poppies, right? We got 15 of them. What can I do with them? Can a pulverizer do a good job with them? Oh, a phytogenic isolator in fairness can get a lot of poppies. Can I just like do that for a minute? Wow, that's a lot of poppies. All right, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna keep a poppy uh, and a daisy. I don't think I need any daisies at the moment. I might be wrong. And then we can uh, pulverize a bunch of this, right? Cause that's gonna make a decent amount of rose red. Cool. So that's neat. So then rose red. Red chicken egg. So basically we just want to cross our fingers that we get a little bit of luck out of this. One of these days I will get a chicken out of this. And if I don't, hey, there we go. Chicken, bing, right? Uh, so that's neat. So we take that chicken. We come over here to our sand chicken, of which we have many, and we get the breeding process going. So um, let's see, how are we on this episode? Oh, we need more seeds too. Uh, I think I've got some seeds. So this is gonna be a redstone chicken, which to be fair, wouldn't be the end of the world for me because realistically, like we're good on redstone, but 
I feel like we're gonna need like many, many more blocks of redstone because you saw that crafting recipe. You saw how much redstone was in it, right? Iron, uh, we need a ton of. Tin, we need a ton of, right? So redstone, we're also gonna need a ton of um, for that neutron collector. And I'm concerned because I don't know quite how fast these things are. I feel like I read that they're really, really, really slow. And if that's the case, then we might want more than one of them. Or wand of acceleration, or more than one probably more than one so uh you guys start your breeding thing and we'll be right back all right guys so here's the deal it is wrapping up point for the episode but i do have a plan moving forward on what direction i'm going so we'll wrap up here we'll come back next time i'm gonna get a 10 10 10 redstone chicken i'm gonna get a 10 10 10 diamond chicken and potentially a few other chickens um with which to produce copious amounts of resources um but that should be okay because that's going to make it breed faster right the more red chickens i get from this process the faster i get to breed which is cool all right double 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed today's episode because we'll be back next time um i will have the chickens by then so you won't see me doing the chickens i'll come back with a couple 10 10 10 chickens um and then yay come on redstone that's all i want is redstone pretty sure i'm doing the right thing right sand I always double check this because I'm always like, what if I stood here for 10 minutes and never got it because I was doing the wrong thing? But redstone and sand, or red and stand equals redstone. So I just have to get lucky. Hey, there's one. I need two though, remember, so I can start breeding them up. Um, so I could either just, you know, throw another redstone in there, but technically it should be faster to do it this way because I've already got like the stacking chickens. Um, so that's cool, right? So we keep doing this and we're groovy. All right, guys, Devil20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time, um, and we will have more fun making lots of resources so we can get into Project E. That's kind of the plan for now. All right, take it easy, guys.